Hey, 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 I'm Carmel jean Francois. I'm coming to you from the New York City area. I am one out of two people that make up Fitness on Fire. And today, welcome back to my kitchen, by the way. Today, we're just making an easy side dish. Sometimes I have this just alone as like a warm salad, so to speak. And it is tangy coconut greens. Now this, as you can see, it looks it looks like greens, but it has such an interesting taste to it. Why? Because we're using coconut milk and we're using coconut oil. So this was a really sweet surprise, so to speak, quote unquote. Um, when I first tried it, I was curious about it. I tried it, I really liked it. So this is not my first time making it. Actually, it might be my fourth or fifth time making it. It's from the book, The Plant Paradox Cookbook. This is Dr. Gundry. I don't know if you've heard of Dr. Gundry, but he really speaks to not only gluten um, and how that could be found in wheat and in certain plant foods, but also something called lectins that people tend to have an intolerance to. And many times people think that, well, I'm gluten-free and I'm plant-based and I don't know why my stomach's irritated or I'm experiencing bloating. My drawer was open. That was not sitting well with me. <laughs> and so he introduces this, um, this, this, this other kind of uh, protein that's found in many plants and fruits called lectins. And it's really, really super interesting. And that's why he calls the book, or that's why he calls this series The Plant Paradox, because we think that all plants are so super healthy, but we do have an intolerance to certain things. And it's because plants are living, but lectins are there to help protect these plants from being eaten too soon eaten at all and to keep them procreating and it's so very interesting so if you ever have if you ever have the opportunity to read up on that or listen to dr gundry he does have a podcast listen to it i found myself absolutely immersed in his teachings and what he had to share regarding the plant paradox and lectins and plants foods but anyway we're taking from this i've i've used a few of his recipes you see on my notes my tags in here from this book because he has good stuff in here so let's get started so these are the ingredients that we'll be using for today's recipe so again today's recipe is tangy coconut greens and our our greens of choice today is kale although you could use this with collard greens swiss chards etc so we have apple cider vinegar coconut oil full fat coconut milk garlic, ginger, and onions. The recipe does call for shallots. I didn't have shallots and I forgot to buy some at the supermarket. So we're using onions, y'all. We're using onions. turmeric and black pepper only because I pretty much add those two things to almost everything I eat 
and I might have not used enough kale because I feel like I saw more um, more of the coconut milk that I'm that I'm used to seeing. It looked almost soupy, and it had never looked like that to me before. So I don't think I used enough kale. Again, I'm not a cook, and this is only about the fourth or fifth time I made it. That's not an excuse, right? Anyway, it's still. I'm sure it will taste good. Let's oh, and the salt. I forgot to list the salt as an ingredient, but I did add it to my dish. But it's in the recipe, so you'll see it. Okay, so we're all done. And I'm, I'm excited to try this. It smells so good. And I've tried this before, so I know it's good. I just want you to see it before I taste it. So here we go. Tangy, what was it? Tiny, T tangy, <laughs> tangy coconut greens. And again, you could use Swiss chard, you can use collard greens. Let's see. I took a nice piece of ginger. There's so much flavor in here. I'm so happy I made this. I really hope you try it and you gotta let me know. Mmm. Mmm. It's so much flavor. You gotta let me know if you try it and you gotta let me know if you like them. Mm. Mom said don't eat with your mouth full. But let me know. Alright, so comment. Let me know if you enjoyed this. If you want more, what type of varieties you want, and I'll be happy to do it and explore it with you. I hope you're enjoying um, the different varieties of foods that I'm bringing to you. I hope to be bringing some more. And as long as you show me some love, I'll know that you're interested and I'll definitely keep posting. So let me know. Check us out. Follow, subscribe, share, save, all of the, all, all of the things. All of the things.